Hi, I'm Torben Janssen from thoughtsonjava.org with a new Hibernate tip. This time I will show you how to initialize lazy relationships within a query to avoid lazy initialization exceptions and n plus one select issues. Hibernate and JPA support different ways to initialize lazy relationships to other entities. The easiest one is a joint fetch statement within a JPQA query, like the one you can see here on the slide. The additional fetch keyword tells Hibernate to not only fetch the entity for the query, but also to fetch it from the database to initialize the attribute. That prevents lazy initialization exceptions and n plus one select issues. Here you can see an example with a simple JPQA query that selects the author entity with ID 1. Then I commit the transaction and close the session before I call the getBooks method on the selected author. This is the getter method of a lazily fetched relationship and Hibernate will have to initialize it. Let's run this test and see what happens. As you can see here, the test fails with a lazy initialization exception because Hibernate isn't able to fetch the related book entities without a Hibernate session. You can either fix this by keeping the session open until you've called the getBooks method or by loading the related entities with the initial query. The second one is by far the better approach. So let's add a joint fetch statement to the query to fetch the related entities. You can see the change query here. I added a join fetch statement for the book relationship. This time Hibernate initialized the relationship when it got the author entity from the database. It did that with this SQL statement that selects the required columns from the author and the book table. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe below. You should also join the free Thoughts on Java library to download this and other Hibernate tips as a PDF. You also get access to a lot of free member-only content like an ebook about Java 8 support in Hibernate, lots of cheat sheets and a video course. I'll add the link to it to the video description below. See you next week for a new Hibernate tip video.